In this lesson, we will be solving rational equations. But one of the things I want you guys to understand is, if you watch the videos on eliminating fractions, we're going to go with the same concept for solving rational equations. So there's a guy on there, he goes, oh, oh well, maybe I'm not as slick as him, but you get the idea. He calls himself the fraction eliminator. And we're going to do the same thing here. I want you guys to go ahead and eliminate the denominators. So by doing that, what you want to do is you just want to find the lowest common denominator for each of these denominators. Once you do that, then you multiply each term by that lowest common denominator. Let me show you what I'm talking about. 8, 5, and 20. Well, we want to find the lowest common denominator for all of these three numbers. And if you know that, you would know that it's 40. So what I do here is I'm going to multiply everything by 40. So it would look like this. It would be 40 over 1 times 3 over 8 plus 40 over 1 times 4 over 5. And that equals x over 20 times 40 over 1. Or you can do 40 over 1 times x over 20. Now, let's go ahead and cross cancel. 8 goes into 40 5 times. So now you would just do 5 over 1 times 3 over 1 would just give you 15 over 1 plus, well, let's cancel, cross cancel again. 5 goes into 40 8 times. So 8 over 1 times 4 over 1 gives me 32 over 1 equals 20 goes into 40 2 times. And that would be a 1. So it would be x over 1 times 2 over 1. That would give me 2x over 1. And if you notice here, everything is under 1, right? So isn't that just the same thing as saying 15 plus 32 equals 2x? Yes, you're correct. So you can go ahead and do that, and what do we do? We just eliminated the denominators. So now, go ahead and add these up. So 15 plus 32 gives us 47 equals 2x, and you divide both sides by 2. And now you would say that x equals 47 over 2, or if you want to go ahead and put that into a mixed number, you go ahead and divide. 47 by 2, which would be x is equal to 23 and 1 half, if you want to go ahead and put that into a mixed number. So there you go. We went ahead, solved for x, and we just eliminated the denominator.